Hi, I'm Abby Moore from the Mississippi Watershed Management Organization, and today we are here to talk about fall yard care. So as the seasons change, we often come outside and look at things that we can do to get our yards ready for the next season. Um, and so there's lots of things you can do to ensure that your yard comes back healthy and beautiful in the spring, and also to protect water quality and habitat over the winter. So today we're gonna look at some of those things. Uh, so come with us. So the first thing we usually think about when we think about fall yard care is managing leaves. So leaves fall off of the trees, um, mostly over the month of September and October. And depending on where you are, you need to figure out whether you need to do something to manage them. So there's lots of different things that you can do to manage leaves. Sometimes the right thing to do is to rake them up um, and dispose of them properly. Also, you can um, compost them or use, leave them in some cases to provide habitat for overwintering pollinators and bugs. The most important reason that we want to manage our leaves is to keep them out of local waterways. Because when leaves get into the storm drains and then ultimately into our waterways, they break down releasing phosphorus and nitrogen, which are both really significant pollutants in the Mississippi River. As a matter of fact, um, yard waste like leaves and grass clippings and other things like that are one of the most significant sources of water pollution in the Twin Cities metro area. So doing your part in this case is really important. So here I am on the boulevard right next to the street. Um, and so we're gonna rake up the leaves here. Just a few really important things to remember. Please do not uh, rake the leaves into the street. That just makes it more likely that they're gonna get into the storm drain and then into the river. So I'm gonna rake all of these up and, just, and put them into my yard waste bag. I'm also gonna try to rake up as many of the um, leaves that are in the street as I can. They look pretty safe and this is a pretty quiet street. Um, so as long as it's safe, please go ahead and remove the um, leaves from your street as well. So raking and bagging your leaves isn't your only option in the fall. There's other things you can do with your leaves as well. One of them is if there's not too much leaf cover over your lawn, you can actually use the leaves as fertilizer by mulching them with your lawnmower and leaving them kind of spread across your lawn. That actually provides a good amount of nutrients which will help your yard come or your lawn come back um, green and healthy in the spring. You can also rake your leaves into flower beds or basically use them as mulch in other situations. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do in my yard is actually use the leaves. I'm gonna rake them into the corner and along the edges here where I can mulch that will protect the roots of the plants that are growing. Um, it also provides habitat for pollinators and bugs and things that are living in the soil um, and in the leaves and plants around. So fall is also a great time of year to plant. Um, if you have bare soil in your yard, you can cover that with mulch, but you can also plant grass or ground cover or native plants um, or even trees. It's really important to cover bare soil so that that doesn't get picked up and brought into the storm drains, which then ends up in uh, our local waterways and is just a source of pollution. So if you can cover that up, that's great. Um, planting native plants and other things are an awesome way to get a good start so that they can come up strong in the spring. Um, and speaking of plants, you also want to think about how you're going to maintain your plants um, in your garden in the fall. And so they're going to start to die back, like this one here, um, or go dormant. And instead of cutting that stuff back like you might want to, it's great if you can leave that over the winter so that pollinators and other bugs have it as a place to overwinter. Um, and then once the temperatures are consistently above about 50 degrees in the spring, you can cut those back and make room for the new growth in the spring. So if you do plant more plants this fall, make sure that you add lots of water to them before the soil freezes. Um, and that's a great way to use the leftover water in your rain barrel. So also be paying attention to the forecast so that you can make sure that you disconnect um, and empty your rain barrel before it freezes. Because if, if the water freezes in your rain barrel, it will potentially crack. So make sure that you do that and then reconnect your downspout um, so that the water is directed away from your house. 
Thanks for joining us today for this quick overview of fall yard care. Please check out our fall yard care guide on our website and make sure to like, share, and subscribe.